this video, let's find the LCM and the GCF, or the greatest common factor of the numbers 60 and 24. Let's start with the greatest common factor, and I like to use a factor tree. So let's get started with the factor tree. Let's start with 2 times 30. Circle the 2 because it is prime. Now 2 times 15. Circle the 2 because it is prime. And now let's go with um, 3 times 5, and they're both prime. 24 is 2 times 12, circle the 2, and then 2 times 6, circle the 2, 2 times 3. Now we have all the numbers, the prime factors. So what we will do next is, it makes it really easy, I'm going to put them in a nice, simple chart. So uh, what I'll do is write all the prime numbers of both 60 and 24. So let's do that. For 60, I have 2, put a check by it, 2, 3, and then 5. And now for 24, I'm going to write the 2. I'm going to write the 2. I'm going to skip this 2. I'm going to write the 3. And then I'm going to write a 2 here. Now, for the greatest common factor, what you do is since you have two numbers, you need to find pairs or two numbers. And you bring one down. So we have a pair here. So I'm going to write a 2 here. We have a pair here. Write the 2 there. We have a pair here. We do not have a pair at the 5 nor the other 2. So now for the greatest common factor, we just multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. So the greatest common factor is 12. Now, we can use the exact same chart to find the lowest common multiple. So let's do that next. Now, for the LCM, I've just rewritten this chart that we got from the factor tree. So the factors, the prime factors of 60 are 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, and the prime factors of 24 are 2, 2, 3, and 2. Now, basically, for the LCM, you just multiply these numbers together. However, there is one rule. If you have two of the same numbers in a column, then you only bring one down. So we have 2 here, so I'll bring down a 2 bring down a 2, bring down a 3, uh, bring down the 5, and bring down the 2. Now remember with the GCF, we didn't bring down the 5 because you had to have a pair. But in the LCM, you still bring it down. It's just when you have 2, you only bring one number down. Now multiply these together. 2 times 2 is 4, then that's 12. 12 times 5 is 60, and then 60 times 2 equals 120, so 120 is your LCM. So in summary, the LCM is 120, and the 12 is your GCM.